In 2066, subject to political opinion at the time, we shall celebrate or commemorate the millennium anniversary of the Battle of Hastings, which took place on 14th of October 1066, changing the course of our history forever. This was the last time that Britain was successfully invaded by a foreign power, and whilst others have tried since, they have not been successful. I will not be around to witness the anniversary, but those of a younger generation will. It is reckoned that William the Conqueror landed with his army at Pevensey Bay, but he wouldn't recognise it today. Apart from holiday crowds and apartments, the sea in 1066 extended further inland towards Pevensey Castle than a Roman fort. Much of the land has become pastures and several footpaths crisscross the area allowing convenient access to the castle. The outer walls and two gateways are Roman, but the construction of the inner ward is medieval built after William's visit. My visit to Pevensey Castle met with a major problem, and it wasn't the weather. That was perfect. English Heritage are conducting a long-term preservation program to restore its ancient walls and extensive scaffolding now covers the keep and castle walls between the gatehouse and north tower. My challenge was to offer a pictorial record without showing these essential works. It was still possible to take general shots that avoided scaffolding, as well as getting in close or being a bit more creative with viewpoints. This view was a challenge, the inner bailey from the North Tower. The dynamic range between the brightly lit exterior and dark walls of the tower are enormous, impossible to balance in a single shot, and I am not a fan of HDR. I spot metered the exterior near the clouds, allowing the walls to become underexposed. Now this is the JPEG copy of an unaltered RAW file. The walls are lightened in Lightroom with shadow and black sliders. I also took highlights and whites right down to tame highlights and increased clarity and vibrance. It can be seen that giving the shot more exposure will produce highlights impossible to correct. In fact, the cloud highlights are almost blown out already. This drastic adjustment is only possible with recent camera models. Older cameras might increase noise when lightening shadows. I have to be careful with the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II, and if there is noise, no attempt has been made to remove it. Pevensey offers other photo opportunities. I walked from the railway station and discovered St. Mary's Church, the sharp angle of light bringing out all the texture of its stonework on my visit. There are several interesting buildings in High Street and further views of the castle from public footpaths.